What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I wanted to give you guys my opinion on the state of high mapper. I want to preface that by saying it's my opinion. Uh, I haven't been able to make Brad deep in connections live streams the past two times. My track season has started, so it's been very difficult for me on the weekends to make it at like 12 o'clock. It just hasn't been working out. So I wanted to give you guys my take on what I think has been going on. I want to talk about the price. I want to talk about my dash cams and the issues that I've been having as well as I did do a, a poll on my channel I want to briefly touch on as well as some updates that they pushed in the discord server I'm not really going to talk about any of the MIPs because I just haven't gotten to read them and if you guys want to learn more about those I would suggest joining uh, the deep in live streams so you can learn more about those but first I want to talk about the price so right now we're sitting at nine cents it's down uh, it happens the whole crypto market is down you can see the fear and greed index has come down quite a bit uh, Bitcoin overall has come down to 63,000. I think it actually went under 60 uh, a couple of days ago and then bounced back up. And we saw that with pretty much every other crypto. You can see it bounced uh, down. It went all the way down to the chart's not going to show it now, but I think it went to eight, nine cents. So we're seeing obviously the market coming down as the Bitcoin having approaches and the market usually follows the same trend as Bitcoin. So if you see Hive Mapper is down 20.93% over the past seven days, go to Bitcoin and look at their past seven days. Although I actually could have just done it on the homepage and it's down 10%. So, or I guess you can say 10.5%. So Hive Mapper is doing a little bit worse than Bitcoin, but it's following the same trend and that's important. It's not uh, going on its own path and tanking. Uh, it would be nice if it was going through the roof right now and hopefully uh, as the future months to come and high mapper maybe releases some of the partnerships that they have you will see some positive price action next i want to talk about the poll that i did and this is a pretty good sample size 50 votes it talks about uh, i would just said what are you doing with your honey tokens because i'm curious to see what other people are doing there's been a lot of fun uh, a lot of people that are saying oh sell hold and if you go over to the high mapper price if I go over to the community, it's just like I, I don't trust any of these comments. I don't know who's real, who's not. Coin Market Cap kind of just launched this, and bots can just go ballistic in here and just say whatever they want. So once this loads, uh, let's go people. It's what's going on here. All right, whatever. It's it's not gonna work. Um, but that's just like you know I I, I see this and I see people are always oh, gonna do this, is gonna do that that it's the same as the people on Twitter drawing charts with lines that they don't know what they're talking about. But as for the poll, uh, I'm just for the sake of math, 50% did holding and 50% are selling weekly. Now I didn't go into any more detail asking like in the comments, like, Oh, like, uh, are the people selling weekly? Are they fleet managers and they're selling because they are just taking profit? Or is it people that like me that have one camera and they don't care. They just want the money now. Uh, or are the people selling weekly uh, any other circumstances that it could be you could say the same circumstances for holding are the people holding people like me with one or two cameras or is it fleet managers or is it uh, even people that are working under a fleet and they're selling weekly because that's what their fleet manager is doing just to pay them out so that's just kind of what uh, you got to think about here as well as there's eight percent that are buying the dips uh, Right now, obviously, is a pretty big dip. Uh, nine cents. Haven't seen this in a very long time. Last time we saw nine cents, besides the other day, but everything dipped was, um, wow, it was last year. It was December second of twenty twenty three, maybe December third. We saw, yeah, maybe even December fourth. Uh, but it's been a while. So a lot of people that are in the project now haven't seen this low of a price and they're probably getting concerned. I know I've been seeing a lot more uh, dash cams up for sale as of late uh, on eBay and my Discord server. So if you guys are interested in picking one of them up, I'm sure the prices have come down on them so you can do that. I know I actually sold my High Mapper dash cam S just because it wasn't doing anything that it was saying it was doing and I could use the money. <laughs> Quite frankly, I could use that money to either buy more high mapper tokens or use it to kind of diversify my portfolio and get into more crypto projects. I actually did sell it. And then there were some issues with the buyer. It was just a, a, a real, uh, <laughs> it was just a lot. Uh, and then I ended up getting the device sent back. The buyer said the Wi-Fi didn't work and I plugged it in. It worked perfectly. Um, I still had to refund them, whatever. Lost some money on that transaction, but I have the device again. Not sure if I'm going to sell it or not. Still up in the air. I just, 
in my situation, it's not beneficial for me to have two cameras. It kind of is in the way going into the summertime. I have it on my window. I put my windows down. I can't have it on my window if my windows go down. So uh, I tried having it in my other friend's car. It just wasn't it just wasn't working uh, as well as I would have liked it to work. So we'll see what happens with that. But another thing I did want to bring up is their update, their 4.4.2 update. There is a processing queue. Now, this really messed up my dash cam. I don't know if it messed anyone else's dash cam up, but Joe P actually helped me with it. Network bits. Basically, um, there's a blue bar in the app's image queues at the top of the app. Remember that it may take a few minutes to several hours, depending on how much mapping you've done. And the processing is done while the camera is powered on. So while the queue should process during your drives, you may need to leave the dash cam powered on for a few hours slash overnight to ensure your images are processed. What was happening for me? One more, one more bullet point. You don't need to have your phone connected to the dash cam at this time. The images should be ready to download from your dash cam after waiting. So they pushed all of this uh, processing queue onto the camera itself. Now we have to deal with it. And it's probably because there's just gonna be so many more cameras on the market or in this space. And with the B, hopefully this is faster, but the rundown of it is, I'll have a picture like right here. There's a queue, it's a little blue bar. It's not really uh, like, it doesn't look that good, but it's function over, over looks. Tells you how long it takes for the dash cam to process the images. So I'm not gonna leave my car on. Obviously when I'm doing that, I bring it inside, I plug it into, I, it's just like a DC 12 in port. If you have an old Bobcat, you can use that, plug it in. It will process all the images and then you can download them. If you don't do that, if it doesn't process the images, what will happen? And I didn't know this until I posted about it on Twitter. I talked to the CEO because I was like, what's going on? Like no one else seems to be having this issue. And it was it was that. So if you don't let them process, the images will download to your phone and disappear. And that's it. So I'm like, I haven't gotten paid. Uh, you'll see for my, my April earnings for Hide Mapper, it's atrocious like I, I haven't gotten anything in the past two weeks because it wasn't processing so it would go to my phone and disappear um, and they said it was a backlog of images the way I got around it and I fixed it was I actually connected a second phone to it and then I connected my normal phone back to it and it seemed to have fixed it so maybe it was more than one issue but this uh, processing queue is definitely a curveball thrown it's more work on the user's end, which is not a good thing for fleet managers. Now you have to make sure that they are still incentivized to, okay, um, now you get to bring your camera inside to process these images for people that are driving short trips. Um, even if you're driving a long trip, it might not all process it. Stuff like this is, in my opinion, not good for the user perspective. Like I, I just said it, for fleet managers, now you have to do this extra step. Um, and hopefully with the B, uh, with the LTE, it does fix it. Uh, or even with the B with just the Wi-Fi, maybe they have a better processing queue, they have better onboard RAM or chips or whatever does the processing, it's just faster. Uh, but right now, they kind of push this update on, I, I wanna say obsolete hardware, because it, it is. I mean, they are sunsetting the Hive Mapper dash cam and they are bringing in new, uh, better equipment. So hopefully this stuff functions better on the new devices as well as other updates that have been going on, they did add uh, trip trimming, which is default set to 500 meters, previously 300 meters, and I, you can, you're can you gonna have to manually go into the app and change that if you want it to be lower or more. So now it's uh, default. As well as they added background uploads for iOS, which has been something that has been requested for a very long time. They had it on Android almost immediately after it was released because it's just so much easier on the Android uh, ecosystem to, to code that in. As for iOS, it's a little bit more difficult. So they finally got that working. We'll see how well that actually works. And when I do cover High Mapper and, and whatever next video I do make about High Mapper, we can talk about it there and see how it's been working. Um, that's, I mean, that's it. The reward updates, hopefully with Solana being faster, like here we go. They, they've got rid of, um, where was the update here? Yeah, right here. As a reminder, the update for last week's payout day due to the Solana congestion. So the Solana congestion has been fixed. So hopefully rewards will be quick and to the point. Everything on Solana has been slow lately and it's because of this massive congestion. They don't know if they're being DDoS, if there was just a bunch of bots, or if it's just the 
insurgence, uh, that's not probably not even the right word, but the massive surge of all these meme coins, all these scam coins just flowing onto the network. They can just pump them out and just congest the network. So they released the update that Solana side has nothing to do with the high mapper. Hopefully that fixes some issues. I think that's all I got for this video. If you guys have any questions or anything I didn't cover, put them in the comment section below. We can talk about anything in the comment section below. You won't get deleted or banned or anything for mentioning price or anything, as well as you can join my Discord server and we can talk more there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.